So the woman accused of ramming her SUV into an LAPD motorcycle officer this weekend just went before a judge. She faces several charges, including DUI and drug possession. KCAL 9's Adriana Weingold is live at the courthouse in Van Nuys with what happened inside. Adriana. Well, Sylvia, this is the first time that we've seen Kwani Cobb since the accident happened. Now, the 33-year-old pled not guilty in court this afternoon. LAPD officers arrested her on Saturday after she slammed her SUV into an LAPD motor officer in Sun Valley. Now she faces two charges. One, she faces a charge of driving under the influence of a drug causing injury and also possession of cocaine. She also has two prior convictions grand theft and drug possession. If convicted, she faces more than 10 years in prison. Cobb was arrested Saturday after she drove her SUV into a motor officer, pinning him between two cars. The injured officer is in critical but stable condition, and he's undergone several surgeries. Now, officers across the Southland are pulling for one of their own. Today, another blood drive for the injured officer. We spoke with one officer who's known the injured officer for more than a decade. Take a listen. He doesn't know that we're there necessarily, uh, but his family needs support. That's why we're there, doing what we can. And Kwani Cobb will be uh, held on $150,000 $150, bail. She will be back in court on April 17th. We are live in Van Nuys. Adriana Weingold, KCAL 9 News.